E3 just happened, and we need to know what your opinions are upon the games that were announced. I thought E3 was canceled permanently. Yeah. <laughs> it's not E3. It's just the... it. It's like the Xbox Game Showcase and like the Nintendo Direct. Mm. He's probably going to talk about both of them. Basically, where E3 is not a thing anymore, every video game company right now is doing their own like showcases and stuff like that. But he's calling it E3 2024 simply because of the memes. Also, it's what he did every it's what he did every year up until the death of E3. Basically, E3 got taken out back behind the chemical shed and put down like old Yeller. Probably just for the best because apparently the people who were running E3 were a bunch of corrupt birds that just kept not paying the, the help that they had and also kept pocketing a lot of the money and just you know were overall scoundrels e3 not existing anymore completely the fault of the people who ran it and also you you can't forget that covid had a big thing to do with it as well but it's been quite a while since you've asked me to react to a donkey video though i know but this one was recommended it was actually uh, uh suggested in our uh in our reaction requests in uh in our discord so figure we might as well uh check it out see what donkey has to say about i got the hiccups oh. uh see what donkey has to say about some of the games that are coming out uh so are you ready anyway here we go Every time this year, we like to watch 300 trailers for games we don't care about to see five seconds of a game that won't be shown. Summer Game Fest 2024! Trust me, that game is such a true work of art, especially when we get into some of the combat. The buzzword of this year's show was diversity. Back in the day, every game was about a man shooting people with a gun. Today, games have become much more diverse because now every game is about a woman hitting people with a sword. The only sword hitting game I care about is Elden Ring 2. Queen America is back and you can summon her with your bell. I don't know why they changed the name. That's Overwatch. That's Overwatch. That's Sekiro 2. That's Monkey Row. Sekiro 0 takes place before the monkey wars in second row four will explain chonka's backstory now entering the ring weighing 140 pounds mr kojimi hideo kojimi this dude is making three games right now. He's doing a Garfield spinoff with Morgan Peelman. He's doing Wooden Cock Liquid for PlayStation and Death Stranding 2. The way the Strand universe works is that since Guillermo del Toro directed Pinocchio in real life, his character is now a little puppet man in the game. The first time I played Death Stranding, I didn't get it entirely, but it was probably stupid. The second time through, I went, okay. The president's waiting. It's your mother, Bridget. Surely you remember her. She raised you? I'm thinking this is stupid. The third time through, I knew it was stupid. But why do I have two maxed out characters now? If <laughs> because it's fun. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, initially, a lot of people were just like, oh, It's a boring walking simulator. It's FedEx delivery simulator. And you didn't give it an actual chance, did you? 40 hours later, it's just like, I kind of like this. Kind of cool that, you know, me and a bunch of other people are rebuilding, like, ways to traverse. Like, Damn it, I like this game! People are like, it, it's all the same, it's boring and stuff. And I'm like, dude, having a nuke strapped to your back as you try to get across the Rocky Mountains, there's nothing boring about that. No. <laughs> Trust me. No. That's Here like one of the most nerve-wracking segments of video game I've ever played. If we ever make it to Death Stranding 5, the Phantom Sam, that's going to be the one where the walking mechanics are where I wanted them to be in the first game. <laughs> Open world, multiplayer, FPS, looter shooter, PvPVE, and that's what makes this industry so, so great. I'm definitely playing Snake Eater Remake, but I, I don't know if I should. When I was 12, this was the most badass thing ever, and I had MGS2. In this game, you fight a guy called The Fear, but my greatest fear is going back to this game as an adult and thinking, yep, that's what a 12-year-old thinks is the most badass thing ever. Lego Horizon, I can't tell if this will be fun. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Oh, it is gonna be fun. In Uncharted 2, you have Dunkey a massive- Guess hasn't continued playing Metal Gear since he was 12, has he? Probably not. Yeah, dude, there's, Battle on board there's a reason that like it's a lot of people's favorite game series of all time, and it's not because, oh, that's what a 12-year-old thinks is the most badass thing ever. Now, his vision may not always be on point, and it may not always be something that people agree with, 
But damn it, there is no denying the fact that that man called a lot of the stuff that's happened in like the last 20 years. And he, people are always like, yeah, you can't like follow the story or explain the story or anything. And I'm just like, okay, after I played through Kingdom Hearts, shut the fuck up. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You can't, you, you Kingdom, like, I love Kingdom Hearts, but the incoherency of some of the, of some of those games is just like, what? Train. But in this new Indiana Jones game, the main villain is a train. Choo-choo! Choo-choo! In Uncharted, you find this little bitty circle. Indiana Jones, he finds the great big circle and a Nazi submarine suspended in the air like Uncharted. They're doing... <laughs> I said the exact same thing whenever I saw the preview for him. I'm just like... Yeah, there was a lot from that that looks like they were just like, what if we just do what Uncharted did, which was copy Indiana Jones to make a game, but we copy Uncharted to make an Indiana Jones game. I was going to say... I was gonna say, to be if, honest, it's kind of genius, if not the most creative thing in the world. I mean, honestly, if you're gonna rip off Amy Hennig, you should at least just give her like a friendly, like shoulder rub. As like, actually, no, never mind. No, that's, that's not sexual it. harassment. Don't do <laughs> I'm just joking. Doing a new Jesse Radio. They're doing a new Crazy Taxi. They're doing a new Doom. They're doing a new Batman. The Rat King will stop it. No, no that's uh, what it, it's. It's a VR experience. It's uh, not a full fledged like. Batman Arkham game. Thing to destroy my city. I guess Rats is the bad guy. As Batman, you face a new threat. Ratman. If you were a game dev working on the next Halo and you suggested that Master Chief should be able to spawn three beds on top of each other, you would be fired. But if you said that at Nintendo, they would make you the director of Zelda. <laughs> now, it's up to Zelda to step into the protagonist role. Prime 4's color palette echoes Metroid Prime 2. Echoes. They didn't show anything Thing to suggest this, but I would love to see them take a more non-linear approach like Zelda Echoes is clearly doing. And maybe even bring in Echo the Dolphin. Yeah, they I actually could've... did show something to suggest that is possibly. Donkey is just doing it for comedy sakes. Yeah. I'm going to show you probably the most stupid game you'll see all day today. No. They already have Valorant up there. Years before oh, Sea of Bones oh, was quadruple A, Perfect Dark was being touted as the first quadruple A game. Xbox finally showed it off, and I gotta say, it does look a lot it looks more triple A than Sea of Bones. It looks perfect Dark dope. Zero was the first game I played on Xbox 360, and that game was not perfect and should have cost zero dollars. We're introducing a new all digital Series X. I'd like to show you three. Yeah, new I wonder if Donkey's actually played the original Perfect Dark. I don't think he has. Yeah, the original Perfect Dark, in my opinion, is one of the most underrated games, like, possibly of all time. It's considered And I know most... there are a lot of people who like it, but there's still not enough people who have actually played it, because it's one of those games that I consider, like, a must-play game for everyone. It's a good one. Xbox 360. Introducing Xbox One. Xbox One. X. There's no power. So let's talk about our next console, Xbox Series X. It's our mission to make Xbox the most confusing system to buy. We yes. <laughs> Look at all that. Look. Hold on. Let's 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 go over the naming convention real quick. Xbox, Xbox 360 Pro, Xbox 360 Core, Xbox 360 Elite, Xbox 360 Arcade, <gasps> Xbox 360 S, Xbox 360 E, Xbox One, Xbox uh, Series X. Xbox One Elite, Xbox One S, Xbox One X, Xbox One S All Digital Edition, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, Xbox Series X All Digital. <gasps> What's it going to be next? They made it goddamn impossible for any kid to ever ask for an Xbox for Christmas and get the one they actually wanted. Exactly. <laughs> God, Jesus. Never going to happen. Microsoft, it's gonna why? It's going to be wrong like 99% of the time. Why? Six months ago, the way the Grand Theft Universe works is that if you do something stupid enough in real life, they will now put you in the game. I'm yep. sure this will be a technological landmark, but I'm more interested in the tone. GTA 5 is a very mean-spirited game where every character is scum. Red Dead 2 criticizes America, but it can also show you warmth and beauty. Is that something they're even trying to do with GTA 6? I don't know. Everything we've shown you so far, I think, is going to be, you know, coming out, uh, you know, never. Astrobot. Not, no, not Astrobot Rescue Mission. Not Astro's Playroom. Those are different games. This is a diff, this, which game is this? The one that comes with PS5 
that's like the best game on there. They really should go Ooh. all out with the it's PlayStation great. stuff on this. I want to see a Kessen level. I want a Ape Escape level. I want a Yarman level. I want to team up with Kuma and battle the chicken from Rapper to Rapper. I want to play as the dude from Headhunter driving the car from Midnight Club 2 through one of the courses from Hot Shots Golf. They're saying <laughs> this one's going to be a serious competitor. Astrobot hands on. This is Astro's Playroom. I remember when everyone was talking about it and they were just saying like if they actually ran with this and like were able to pay tribute to all of like the previous ips that were on playstation it'd be pretty awesome under the mario which is what they said about sonic adventure and knack and 99 winks ubisoft i love these guys they dropped a bombshell on us with this new star wars they're calling this the first ever open world game welcome to the first ever open world game and get this what? guess who you play? open world star wars Think? game i mm -hmm. play is you play as jabba the hut traverse the lush jungle world of akiva the star ancient wars city of kajimi and now I get to introduce something that is special to me. As someone who has played games for as long as I have, it's amazing that I get to set up this world premiere. Not even on Xbox. Thanks, Phil. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. Oh God. Well, I don't think I follow video games close enough anymore, like other people do, to be able to get half a donkey's jokes. <laughs> like half the time, I'm like, is he being serious? Yeah, the entire video is a Trojan horse for big modes next. Oh gosh. That did look like a cool game though, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Dune 2 meets Dune 3. Oh, oh. God. Dune 3's not even out yet. Can't believe we can finally play as Link. Uh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that old joke. Anyway, yeah, so Donkey's E3 2024. Donkey, you really know how to, how to pick them. And I'll say this, you are absolutely on the nose about some of these games. You know, they're definitely, like, filleting themselves and pretending it's like, it's like, oh... Yeah, Ubisoft releasing the first ever quadruple A game, and then Perfect Dark, yo, know, actually saying it's gonna be a quadruple A game, which actually the quality on that. Did they actually for say itself. that? Oh, Ubisoft did. <sighs> Ubisoft said that. Well, not about Perfect Dark. No, Ubisoft it, said that about like fucking. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, the stupid stolen bone. Uh, it's not even very good. No, that's what they said. No, I'm asking if they're actually saying that about Perfect Dark or if that was just oh, a dumb hold joke. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Several employees in the early days. Of yeah, so basically they said it a long time ago, and that's kind of stuck with them ever since. It they did Rise they of did the Tomb Raider. Raider. Rise of the Tomb Raider is was fucking fantastic. Yeah, I mean the initiative and Crystal Dynamics uh, apparently have been developing it together. I think that the initiative started it, and Crystal Dynamics is finishing it. Which I don't know, but like uh, the reveal trailer, it looks awesome. Yeah, so let's hope. For the best. I, I was excited because I saw Crystal Dynamics was working on it and I didn't realize they made that fucking Marvel Avengers game. <laughs> so, well, like, uh, fair enough. Of Rise of the Tomb Raider is like probably one of my favorite games of all time at this point. But I don't know. We'll see. Like, I really hope that Perfect Dark game rocks though because it deserves to have a modern take on it that doesn't suck. Understandable. So obviously the ones in between then and now have sucked. So. Hmm. Yeah, sad to say, but true. But, alright, that was it, everybody. That was Donkey's E3 2024. Thank you all very much for tuning in. If you want to see more from Donkey, click his name in the title of the video. And until next time, I'm Nate. I am Nick. Y'all be good people. Take care. Peace.